this week has been incredible. Although I've been ridiculously busy at work um, with a big conference coming up in two weeks and getting back into the swing of things um, after coming back from America, um, I went and saw three shows this week. I was planning on seeing two anyway, which I was getting excited about last week, but um, I ended up seeing three and it was amazing. Thursday night was press night for First Light at Chichester Festival Theatre as my dad's birthday presents were all um, presents, uh, something to do with each um, each of us kids. So mine was to go and see First Light with dad and I'd got uh, us tickets into the press night party afterwards which is always fun. First Light. Uh, is about two soldiers who deserted the First World War, um, and what happens to them. And it's it's a it, it's quite comical in parts, but it's a really sad story. Um, and it was done amazingly well. The one thing that kept sticking in my head though was there was this actor called Sam Phillips in it, and I don't know if anyone remembers, and maybe it's just because I have younger siblings, but I used to watch this TV show called Hotel Trouble, which was a children's show, it was ridiculous, and Sam Phillips played like the bellboy in it or something, so all I kept thinking, and he played like a really serious part at one point, all I kept thinking was, you're the guy from Hotel Trouble. Hmm. Uh, it was a really good show, amazing show. My dad said one of the best shows he's seen in a while, which is good. It's good, um, and it was it was just the transitions were in in it were incredible. Uh, the acting in it was incredible. The two lead guys who played Alfie and Bert, the two deserters, were just insanely brilliant. And the guy who was the dad is Phil Davis, and he's been like in a massive long list of things. He was just he was awesome. It was just brilliant. So it was an amazing show. I definitely recommend it. It's at Chichester Festival Theatre. I'm just plugging it because I love it. And um, not because I'm being paid to plug it. Anyway, after that, I'm going to go to the press night party, which is always fun because you get to see some famous people and see the actors come in and you get a nice dinner and drinks. Um, uh, and so it was just really fun and something nice to do. And uh, the two people who were most awesome to see there were Rupert Penry Jones, who plays Adam in Spooks. He's been in so many things, but that's what we knew him for. And Dervla Kerwin, uh, who I had seen in a play at Chichester, actually. Um, so that was pretty cool, pretending we were hanging out with them. <laughs> Just like, yeah, Dervla and Rupert are our friends. And my mum was really jealous because she loves Rupert Penry Jones. And we got to essentially have dinner and drinks with Rupert Penry Jones. The second show I went to see um, on Friday night, I uh, after work, me and the lovely Jodie Marston, uh, who I work with, who's a fundraising fellow, we're both theatre fans and we've both spoken about going to see Hamilton, which has finally, like on Monday, oh, I forgot that. Hamilton on Monday opened up its website for priority ticket bookings. Not to book, but to get your email address for priority tickets. So at noon when it went live, I clicked refresh and I put my email address in and I was like, I'm so excited for Hamilton. I know pretty much all the lines. I, if I was a better dancer slash rapper, I would beg Lin-Manuel Miranda to take me as a cast member because it's an insanely incredible musical. I met these two girls out in New York, Rebecca and Ellie, who were both from Britain and I met them outside the Hamilton stage door. I told you about this story last week. Anyway, Rebecca and Ellie um, said, you should so go and see In the Heights because I've been saying I really wanted to see it because it's another Lin-Manuel Miranda. Lin-Manuel Miranda. And I'd, I had wanted to see it for a long time, but just never got around to seeing it. So as soon as I got back, I booked tickets with JD, and I was like, we're going to see In the Heights. Uh, it was at King's Cross Theatre, which is an amazing theatre. It's a traverse theatre, which means there's audience on both sides. But it was an incredible show. I knew a couple of the songs, but not all of the songs. And Lin-Manuel Miranda is a genius. I said to JD as we came out, 
it was an incredible show. The music was amazing. The story was just so interesting. Even though, you know, I don't know much about Washington Heights as probably people in America do. Uh, it was so interesting and so nice to learn, like, what it's like there. And uh, the characters were really interesting. Um, and the cast was just incredible. And the two main girls who played Vanessa and Nina were just insanely talented, had great voices, and the guy who played Usavi um, was an incredible rapper, just so good. When I was coming out of the theatre, I said to her, you know, it's interesting because um, it feels like, uh, you know, you hear about Stephen Sondheim and Roger and Hammerstein and all these amazing musical theatre legends who wrote uh, incredible shows that we still see today. Um, some of them not alive, some of them are. And I feel like we're living in a moment where we get to witness Lin-Manuel Miranda become one of those people. Like, he is, he's changing theatre and... It's incredible. He's doing amazing. And he's just won 11 Tony Awards for his most recent, for Hamilton, and was nominated for 16, which is record breaking. Like, it is awesome to know that you get to experience a change in theatre um, because it, it's just amazing. Anyway, they were the two shows I'd planned. I was ready to go and see, I'd booked. Um, and then uh, on the Thursday night, I'd been speaking to some of the CFT crew uh, that I used to work with and I'd forgotten that one of them, I was in a show last year by Greg Moss and uh, he has just written a new play called Who Cares? Uh, and like he did last year, which I was in, uh, self-help, he's given it to the Chish Festival Youth Theatre to direct um, and kind of... Uh, create and it was amazing it was really really good uh, there was some puppetry in it it was really emotional um, it's about three young siblings who are kind of dealing with a mother who's uh, really ill and dying and um, has got lots of problems around that and it was a really quite humorous throughout it's more in the later part of it you realize what's going on and uh, it was just an incredible show, really. Congratulations. I know a couple of the cast members and I knew the director, Abby Rutter, who is, um, has done an amazing job and it was so funny seeing us, <laughs> not funny, but it was interesting uh, seeing so seemingly so nervous at the beginning uh, and then seeing her at the end and being able to go, you did an amazing job, Abby, it was awesome. Oh, my phone's coming off. She did awesome, so did the cast, Amber Wady, Ed Waller, Tom Chown, like loads of awesome people. Uh, they just, I was so proud. My phone keeps going off. Seeing all this theatre this week has uh, kind of made me realise how much I love being in theatre and, and working around it. I do go and see a lot of theatre, I do go all the time and I do quite often go to Chichester um, because it's my nearest theatre and it's amazing. Um, but I think seeing three shows in a row and them all being incredible and so different from each other, you just realise how much, and, and watching the Tony Awards and stuff, you just realise how much you enjoy theatre and how much it means to you. But you know, it's just really nice to spend time at theatre and that was my, uh, the greatest part of my week spending time at theatre and remembering how much I love it. So yeah, three show week. Bye, bye, bye. Anyway, uh, that's all for this week. See you next time. Bye.